Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this face mask here, this ribbed face mask. Now, it's actually really pretty easy. Um, I think I said this at the end of the video, but I'm going to say it now just so you know. Um, I made it to where it goes down longer a little bit on your neck. So um, I decreased my hat at the bottom here. So it's a little, little bit, so it fits your neck, you know, because your neck's a little thinner than your head. So when you put this on your head, it's going to feel kind of tight, just, but that's fine. It's supposed to. So, but it stretches when it stretches over your head up here, it's looser and it's going to fit your head and your face properly. But then when you get this over your head, this will fit your neck properly because since your neck's thinner. So I just wanted to point that out. So when you started to put it over your head, you didn't feel like you didn't think that the whole thing's not going to fit you because it's tight. But once you get this stretches over your head. It, it'll all fall into place and it'll fit just right. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using Red Heart with Love. It's just a uh, worsted weight of four ply acrylic. And one skein will be enough to do the mask. Um, there's 370 yards in it. So that, um, the color I'm using is taupe. And this was a donation from Maria. And I want to say thank you for... The yarn donations they are always appreciated and then i'm going to be using a size i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook okay you want to start off and you want to work a chain of four now you can work the magic circle here if you'd like otherwise chain four and then we'll slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring like that now we're gonna chain three and that's going to act as our first double crochet and then we're going to work 11 more double crochets through the center of the ring so counting that chain three we'll have 12. so you just go right through the center of the ring and work a double crochet so that count that chain three there's two three four five six okay once you got your 12 double crochets counting that chain three you want to go ahead and slip stitch in, into the top of your beginning chain three and that'll end round one like that and you can pull that uh, your tail and it'll usually close up that circle a little bit more and then you can always sew it together at the end if you need to now we're going to chain three again and that's going to count as our first double crochet now what we're going to do is we're going to work around the post of this very same stitch so we're working around the post of this chain three down here and we're going to do a front post double crochet around that post so we're going to yarn over and go right around it and do a double crochet like that and then we're going to jump to the next stitch and we're going to put one double crochet in the top of it and then we're going to put one double crochet around the post of it, of the same stitch. So we yarn over, go right around and do a front post double crochet. Now we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to put a double crochet into the top of the stitch. And then a double crochet around the post of the same stitch. And this is what we're going to do all the way around. And you can see that it's starting to make the ribbing. So a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And a double crochet around the post of the next, or the same stitch, I'm sorry. So you double into the top and you double around the post of every stitch all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of round round two. Okay, when you come to the end of round two and you have 24 stitches all together, you want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch in your beginning chain three. And that'll end round two. Okay, so for round three, we're going to chain three again. It counts as double crochet. And now we're going to do, we're going to go to the next stitch and we're going to do a double crochet into the top of it, into the top of that post. And we're also going to, also going to do, do, do a double crochet around the post of it. 
just like we did before. And then we're going to go right here to this next stitch. It's not a post. It's just a regular double crochet. And we're just going to put one double crochet into the top of it like that. And then we're going to go to the next stitch that is a post. And we're going to do one double crochet into the top of it. And one double crochet around the post of it. Like that. And then the next stitch is just a regular double crochet. So we'll just do one double crochet into the top of it. And the next stitch is the post. So we do one double crochet into the top of it. And one double crochet around the post of it. And this is the repeat. We're going to repeat all the way around. Double one do regular double crochet right here into this double crochet. And then the next one is a post, so we do a regular double crochet in the top and then a double crochet around the post of the same stitch. Now we're going to repeat this all the way back around to the beginning. And when you get back ar around, you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of round three. Okay, I made it to the end of round three and I have my 36 stitches, so I'm going to end with a slip stitch into my beginning chain three. Now I'm going to chain three again double crochet. Now I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then the next stitch is the post stitch. So what we're going to do again, we're going to do the same thing. Double crochet into the top of it and double crochet around the post of it. And then we're going to do a double crochet in each of these two stitches here because they're not post stitches. And then the next stitch, it's the post, so we're going to double crochet into the top of it. And then we're going to double crochet around the post of it. Again, double crochet in these two stitches here. And then the next is the post, so we're going to double crochet into the top. And then we're going to double crochet around the post. So now this is the repeat all the way around. Uh, we're going to repeat this until we get back around to the beginning. And you should have a total of 48 stitches at the end of round four. Twelve of them will be posts. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round four. And I have my 48 stitches. So I'm going to end with a slip stitch in my beginning chain three. Now we're going to start another row of posts. Now if you look, there are three double crochets between each post. So we're going to start our next post in the middle stitch. So right here is the three because this counts at a double. So we start with a chain three. And then we are going to double, just do a post right around this stitch. We're not going to double crochet in the top of it, but we're going to do a double crochet, front post double crochet around it, like that, and then double crochet into the next, and then the next one, we are going to do a double crochet in the top of it, and a double crochet around the post, because we have to keep increasing the circle as we go, so that's what it starts to look like. So again, these three right here, we're going to do the post around the middle one. So we'll do one double crochet in the first one. And then we'll just do a post around, a front post around the next one. Double crochet into the next. And now this next post, we have to do the increase. So we have to do a double crochet into the top of it. And a double crochet around the post of it like that. Okay, again, there's these three right here, so we're going to do the post in the middle one. So we're going to do one double crochet in the first one, a front post double crochet around the next one, a double crochet into the next one, and then the next post is our increase post, so we're going to do a double crochet into the top of it, 
and a double crochet around the post of it. So we're going to repeat this all the way around for round five. And that's what it starts to look like. Now when you get back around, you should have a total of 60 stitches this time around. Okay, when you make it to the end of round five, you have your 60 stitches. Now you'll have 24 posts this time. You want to go ahead and end with the slip stitch in your beginning chain three. Now round six we're gonna, will be our last row of increases. So we're going to do it a little bit differently now. We're going to chain three. And we're going to go back into that same stitch and do another double crochet. Like that. Now our next stitch is a post stitch. So we're not going to do a stitch on top of it. We're just going to do a double crochet around the post. Front post double crochet. Now we're going to put a double crochet in each of these two stitches here. that and then the next stitch is a post stitch we're not going to go into the top of the post this time in any of the posts we're not going to go into the top of them at all anymore we're only going to go around the post of it so we're going to go right around it and do our front post double crochet now this stitch right here the single stitch that's in between the two posts that's where we're going to increase we'll put two double crochets in it like that now the next stitch is a post stitch, so we're just going to go right around the post. And then one double crochet in each of these two double crochets. And then the next post, we're not going to go into the top of it, we're just going to go right around the post of it and do our front post double crochet. And then this one double crochet here that's in between these two posts that's our increase so we put two double crochets in that stitch and that's a repeat this time around front post double crochet around this post not into the top of it right around the post one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch not in top of it just around the post and then the next stitch the single double crochet that's in between the posts that's our increase so we put two double crochets into that stitch so we're going to repeat this all the way around and when you get back around you should have 72 stitches 24 of them will be post and then you'll have two double crochet in between each post Okay, I've made it back around at the end of round six and I have my 72 stitches So I'm going to go ahead and end with the slip stitch into my beginning chain three now remember now I have 24 of these posts and there's two double crochets between each one now I'm just going to repeat that I'm not going to do any more increasing now. So this is the top of the mask or the hat now from now on it's just going to start going down the more rows we do since we're not going to increase anymore so we're going to chain three which acts as our first double crochet and this is a double crochet so we'll just double crochet into the next stitch oh. and then the next stitch is a post so we're just going to go right around the post and do a front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the top of the next two double crochets and then the next stitch is a post so we just do a front post around the post of that stitch one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets and then a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch so we're not increasing so we'll have 72 stitches now when we get back around again at the end of round seven since we're not increasing we're just every time there's a post we just do a front post double crochet around it and every time there's a regular double crochet you just put one double crochet into the top of it so we're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back to the beginning and you still should have your 72 stitches at the end of round seven Okay, after round seven, you should have 
still have 72 stitches. And what you want to do is you just want to repeat round 7 until you get a total of 14 rounds. So you just repeat that last row until you reach a total of 14 rounds starting from the beginning. And I have already done that. And I just, and I ended round 14 by slip stitching into my beginning chain 3. So now I'm going to make a slip through the eyes. So that's going to be round 15 is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, the eye hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a chain of three, which is our double crochet. Now we're going to work the same pattern that we've been doing over 25 stitches. So this would be number one. It's the same pattern that we're doing. Here's two. The third one is going to be my post. And then the next one is three or four. Five. Sixth one right here will be my post. So you're just repeating the same pattern. You're just re you're just working it over 25 stitches. So that was six. Here's seven. Eight. Nine. And eleven. And 12 so I'm going to keep repeating that until I've worked this pattern over 25 stitches okay I've worked that same pattern over 25 stitches remember that's including that beginning chain 3 so you should have ended right here here's the post and the first double crochet in between two posts and now we're going to do what we're going to do is chain 24 one two Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay, once you get your chain of twenty four made. We're going to skip 24 stitches. So we count them over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then you double crochet into the next stitch. So skip 24 and then double crochet into the next stitch like that so that is going to be our eye holder and if you look you should have ended like right here is your post and you got one double crochet it should be the same on the other side here's your post and here is your double crochet and you got a free double crochet to your next post and it's the same on the other side Free double crochet and then your next post and now we're just going to continue the pattern we've been doing over the last 23 stitches that will remain this would be counting as number one and we're just going to repeat the same pattern lining up the post like that now you want to repeat that until you get to the end okay I made it to the end and I had 23 stitches like I was supposed to so you want to end around a 15 by slip stitching into the top of your beginning chain three now you should have a total of 48 stitches now and that is not counting this long chain so you'll have your 23 here and then your 25 that we did on the other side Okay, now we're going to start round 16 by chain of three. Double crochet, that's our first double crochet. Now we're going to work the same pattern until we get to our first chain, or until we get to our chain space. So the same pattern over the first 25 stitches again.
about mess that one up. So just like this, over your first 25, counting that chain three, or until you get to your first, till we get to the uh, this chain space here. Okay, I repeated the pattern over my first 25 stitches. So here's a post, and then I did the double crochet, and now I'm at my chain. What I want to do is put one double crochet in every single stitch of the chain. So you'll have 24 double crochet across this chain. So I'm just going to go into every stitch and double crochet. No post or anything this time. It's just a straight double crochet into every stitch of the chain. Okay, when you get to the 24th stitch, sometimes it's really small because it's stretched. It's right there, but you want to make sure that you go into it. You got to have that 24 right there. Just like that. And now we're going to continue our pattern across the last 23 stitches. So this one right here is so going to be a regular double crochet. And then the post. And then my double crochets here. And then the post. So I'm just repeating the same pattern across my last 23 or until I get to the end. Okay, when you make it to the end of round 16, you should have your 72 stitches again. And that's counting all these double crochets along the chain. So we'll go ahead and end it by slip stitching into our beginning chain 3. Just like that. Now we're going to start round 17 by chain and 3. And now we're going to repeat our pattern all the way across. Again, the same pattern we've been working on. So double crochet in the next and post and you got one double crochet in the next two stitches and post one double crochet in the next two stitches Post so we're going to repeat that we're going to repeat it all the way around but I will meet you up here when we get to these double crochets okay I've made it here to my um, this chain space that we put straight double crochets on and we're just going to repeat the same pattern so I just did a post and now I'm going to put double crochet in the next two stitches and then I'm going to work a post around the next double crochet there's not one there but we're going to put one there and then I'm going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches and then a post around the next stitch one double into the next two stitches and then a post around the next stitch and we're just going to repeat this all the way across it's the same pattern we've been working on until we get over here to the end so I'm coming to the end I did a post and you should it should end up the same to where your pattern is exactly the same and it is I got two double crochets here so I'm going to put one double crochet in each of those and then I'm going to work my post and I'm going to continue my same pattern until I get to the end just 
two double crochets and then a post stitch and then two double crochets and a post stitch that's what our pattern's been and that's what it's going to be now so now when you pull it up and look at it <clears throat> here is the eye holder eye opener and all the stitches line up still so when you line them up you can see that the posts line up that's what you want so there is no disruption in the pattern it's still the same so I'm going to continue this until I get to the end okay I've made it to the end of round 17 and you should have 70, 72 stitches still slip stitch in your beginning chain three and now around 18 we're going to chain three and round 18 is going to be the repeat round for a while now and we're just going to follow our pattern all the way around so it's two double crochets and then a post stitch two double crochets and a post stitch so it's pretty easy now we're just going to follow our pattern for a while And when you make it back to the end of round 18, you still should have 72 stitches. Two double crochets and a post stitch. That's our pattern. And you just keep repeating it all the way around until you get back over here to your beginning. Okay, now you want to repeat round 18 for a total now of 24 rounds. So this is what it starts to look like. Now I'm going to make my hat to where it goes kind of, I'm going to, where it goes kind of along the neck to keep the neck warm. Because I've seen some ski masks that are a lot longer. I'm going to make mine a little bit longer. If you don't want to, you can stop right here and tie off. That's fine. Um, it should be covering your face pretty good now all the way down but I'm going to do some decreases now so mine goes kind of below the chin and maybe a little bit onto the neck so you can you know maybe <sighs> tuck it into your I don't know up around your coat can come up around and everything that way you stay nice and warm but uh, repeat row 18 for a total of 24 rounds and now we're going to do some decreases on round 25 so what I'm going to do is chain one this time. And I'm going to yarn over and go back into that same stitch, the very same stitch, and drop a loop. And I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Then I'm going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then yarn over and go through all three loops. So that took those very first two double crochets, or that chain three in the double crochet, and turned it into one. And now my next stitch is a post stitch, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, one post around it. And now I'm going to decrease over the next two stitches. The double crochet decrease is worked over two stitches. So again, I'm going to yarn over, go into the first stitch here, drop a loop, yarn over, and go through the first two loops. Again, I'm going to yarn over and go into that next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, and then yarn over and go all through, through all three. So that's a double crochet decrease. So my next stitch is the post, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my front post double crochet. And now I'm going to decrease over the next two stitches, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops yarn over and go into the next stitch drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and yarn over and go through all three now my next is a post stitch so I'm going to do a front post double crochet and now I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around I'm going to be doing a double crochet decrease over the two double crochets that are in between every post stitch 
So I'm going to go over here to the next two, go into the first one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, then I'm going to yarn over and go into the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, and yarn over and go through the remaining three, just like that. Then I'll go front post double crochet around the next post, and then I'm going to decrease over my next two. that and post around my next post. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Okay I've made it all the way around to end of round 25 and now you should have 48 stitches. You want to go ahead and slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet two together or the decrease double crochet decrease. So not in this little chain one but right here in the top of the stitch. Slip stitch into it. 48 stitches and now what you're going to have is one double crochet in between each post now. So we'll start with the chain three and then we're going to jump over here. I know it looks kind of wide there but there's really only one stitch there. Over here to the next post and do a post in it and then one double crochet into the next stitch and then a post around the next, double crochet into the next, and a post into the next, double crochet into the next, and a post around the next, and we're just going to repeat this all the way around. As you can see it got smaller so there's one double crochet now in between each post. So go ahead and repeat that back around to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around to end around 26, you still should have 48 stitches. You want to go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your beginning chain 3. And now we're just going to be repeating around 26. So we're going to chain 3. And that's our first double crochet. So our next stitch is the post. And then one double crochet into the next. And then the post. And then one double crochet into the next and then the post so we're working on round 27 we're just repeating round 26 and you want to repeat round 26 until you get a total of 30 rounds okay I'm coming to the end of and what I want to do is end with a slip stitch into my beginning chain three. So this is my, my last round. So what I'm going to do is just go around it all in single crochet. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet into the top of every stitch all the way around. Just to clean up the bottom edge. Of course you can always make yours longer if you want. It's completely up to you. But how, whenever you get done, however long you want it, if you want it longer than mine, just end in a row or end in a round of single crochet. So I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end of, and I have 48 single crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and end with the slip stitch into my first single crochet, not this chain one here first single crochet and then tie off and hide that tail okay now I'm gonna go around the eye area real quick and just do a quick quick cleanup on that so you can start anywhere you want now when you look what well, you want one of these sides actually to start on either side that you want but when you look you can see that there is a double crochet on the side and then their stitches all the way around. So I'm going to start in the first stitch that this double crochet is attached to. So right here. Now just go ahead and start your yarn there. Chain one. And go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to work one single crochet 
in every stitch across this top part of the eye area until I get over there to the other side. Okay, I made it over here to the other side and you can see this double crochet right here. So I'm going to go into that stitch that that double crochet is attached to just like we did on the other side. Now for the double crochet, I'm going to work two double crochet or two single crochets into the side of this double crochet. So I'm just going to kind of work right into it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to get two single crochets into the side of it. like that and now I'm going to continue working one single crochet in every stitch around the bottom part of the face mask or the eye holder eye opening until I get to my other double crochet on the other side Okay, I've made it over here to the other, this double crochet right here. Here's where we started. There's this double crochet here, and I'm going to work two single crochets. Just kind of get them into the side of it the best that you can. Doesn't have to be exact. But two through that double crochet. And now I'm going to end with the slip stitch into my first single crochet. Not the double, but the first, or not the chain one, but the first single. And then I'm going to tie that off. Now you should have 56 stitches here, and if you don't, it's it's not important. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't tear it out if you don't have your 56, because it's fine. It's going to look good regardless. So you just want to go ahead and take that, and then we're going to go ahead and hide all the tails. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my tails real quick. Okay, once you get all your tails hidden, that is it. You might want to take the bottom and stretch it just a bit. Now, when you put it on... It's going to feel just a little bit tight going over your head. That's because this has been decreased to fit around your neck. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll stretch right over your head. And then when you get up to here, it'll fit your head properly. I just wanted to let you know. So when you started to put it on, you didn't think that the whole thing was going to be too tight. It's not. Once you get this little small, uh, small part over your head and it'll stretch over it, this up here will fit nice like it's supposed to. And then this will fit nice around your neck like it's supposed to. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, you can always put pom-pom or something on it if you want. That's completely up to you. But if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a, put a link to that below in the description box. Um, don't forget to check down below. You can find a link to the written pattern and a link to where to purchase this yarn if you can't find it in your local stores. And until next time, have a good day.